to welcome you to Wilton House, Wilton near Salisbury in Wiltshire, and particularly to give you a little rundown of the history of the house and the family. The history of the house goes right back to the first Earl, who was created Earl in 1551. The history of the family spans many years. We're currently now to the 18th Earl of Pembroke, who lives here with his wife and four children. The house houses some marvellous works of art, all the big names that you can possibly think of, particularly Van Dyke as the third and the fourth earls were patrons to Van Dyke and also to Shakespeare. And it's reputed that Shakespeare actually came here and performed Twelfth Night and As You Like It whilst the Tudor house was standing. The immediate area is around about 250 acres but the grounds around the house are highly sought of and the gardens are typically English in appearance. These were designed by the 9th Earl of Pembroke in 1730. And action! Obviously the most prominent part of history may be because of George III and Queen Charlotte. They visited and stayed here for three days whilst on their way to Portsmouth to inspect the troops before they went off to the Americas. There's a huge collection, not only of old masters, but of family portraits. The double cube room, which is possibly the most well-known room in England, houses all Van Dyck's paintings. But the largest one in the room is 17 feet by 11, and it's reputed to be one of the largest paintings that Van Dyck painted of a family group. It's often used as the backdrop for any classical type of film. So we've had the Jane Austen films, Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, The Madness of King George III was here, Mrs. Brown about Victoria. We've even had Rowan Atkinson with the Johnny English Reborn films made here. Possibly one of the most iconic has been the Stanley Kubrick film, Barry Lyndon. It's complicated, there's a lot of moving parts, just getting everybody ready with this level of complexity in terms of makeup, hair, costume, it's a big deal. We're filming the presentation today of the uh, Bridgerton and Featherington Girls at the Court of St James's. The presentation at Court marked your introduction to high society. The Court was the pinnacle of the fashionable world that we see in our Bridgerton series. And the presentation at Court was the moment in which you're making your first entrance into that world. So there's a huge amount of pressure, there's a huge amount of preparation. The clothes that you wear at Court you'll only see here. Um, they're bought specially for the occasion. People have been reporting in the press what, they, what you might have been wearing on the day and there'll be reports the next day about who was seen, who performed their best and exactly what was happening. It's hair that takes a while. Costumes are right, they just stick this on. But this hair is not real, it takes a minute. It's such a pivotal moment in Daphne's life. It's like the moment she's always been waiting for. And we're about to film it now, so. <laughs> 
a family would want everything to go smoothly in order to secure their place in society. So in this scene we've seen one of the Featherington girls faint and it's almost like Jennifer Lawrence falling up the stairs at the Oscar. It's this kind of huge social moment of embarrassment and it'll be a scandal the next day in the newspapers. What we're going to do is we're going to witness Daphne's presentation to the Queen. We've got three faces that I've programmed in. One that's nervous, one that's proud, and the third one is heartbroken, which is... <laughs> seen this evening? Oh, it's beautiful. Like, this room's incredible and the ground's really pretty too. It's unbelievable. I'm scared to touch anything. Right. We're not allowed to Guys, we need you on set, please. So first positions, thank you very much. Come on in. I mean, so breathtakingly beautiful. And it, there's so much texture and richness to this place. I felt really lucky to be filming here.